Hi, I'm Brother Gus, and I'm the president of Del Sol Health Science Institute, where we have the College of Medicine. Our mission here is very simple. We would like this place to be a place where every student who comes will be able to achieve his or her dream to come true, to be a physician for the future, to heal and save lives. Located 34 kilometers south of Manila, the Emilio Aguinaldo College of Medicine was established in 1979 through the initiative of the university's Physician Foundation with the vision to create a world-class premier teaching hospital right in the heart of Dasmarinas Cavite. De La Salle University then acquired ownership and management in 1987 to further help its mission to reach the last, the least, and the lost. Today, the newly constructed College of Medicine building, built in 2013, along with its PASU Level 3 accreditation, stands as a testament to DLSHSI's continuing commitment towards nurturing the potential future of world changers who will become catalysts dedicated towards the transformation of the nation. Let's take a tour of the Med Building. The first floor of the building has three theater-style auditoriums where most of the lectures and class discussions are held. With a seating capacity of over 300 people, each auditorium is fully air-conditioned and is equipped with two overhead projectors for visual aids and video presentations, as well as professional-grade audio equipment to ensure that the learning of students is maximized during the first three years of medical school. The second floor of the building houses the Health Informatics Laboratory, where research, histology lab, and examinations take place. Each student here is assigned their own touchscreen computer, and during laboratory sessions, they are able to view high-fidelity digital slides of tissue specimens, which allow students to focus on identifying key areas of interest in tissue landmarks. The college has already implemented the paperless form of test-taking, which is meant to emulate the conditions during the Philippine Physician Licensure Exam. With the school's Moodle system, students are also able to receive prompt feedback from evaluations as they view their exam results in real time. The system also allows students to access assignments, handouts, and lectures at their own convenience with a click of a button. The college comes equipped with wet and dry lab facilities with a comprehensive library of slides for microbiology, parasitology, and bacterial cultures for the students to familiarize themselves with the common pathogens that are frequently encountered in the clinical setting. The anatomy and plastination lab is where dissection for gross anatomy takes place. Students are tasked to work as a team in dissecting a human cadaver during the first academic year. To ensure proper preservation of the specimen, the lab is equipped with immersion tanks wherein cadavers are stored until the next class. Furthermore, the college has recently acquired a new addition to its learning arsenal, the Anatomage, a 3D imaging table that allows professors and the students to better visualize anatomical structures in relation to one another. All these facilities are available to ensure that the students will have a full and functional knowledge of the human anatomy by the time they proceed to higher levels of medical education. The college also houses the Simulation Lab, which is armed with the latest technology that facilitates the training and development of skills and competencies that the students will need in clinical practice. Here, students can perform procedures such as basic life support, as well as physical diagnosis ward work and emergency medicine procedures. From a control room next door, consultants and professors are able to control variables in order to mimic clinical conditions and observe how students are able to apply their learnings and adapt to this kind of environment. These labs are able to simulate medical emergencies or situations in the ICU in order to allow students to experience real-world scenarios in a controlled setting and under the close supervision of their advisors and consultants. Small group discussion rooms are located in the various floors of the college where plenary sessions or meetings with group mates, mentors, and advisors take place. Right next to the College of Medicine building is the Romeo P. Arañego MD Library, which dedicates an entire floor to the medicine section and houses a full collection of medical reference books and other research materials that are available for the students' use. The library also provides students access to a vast collection of online databases, such as Clinical Key, Up to Date, and Access Medicine, where students are able to browse through a catalog of references and journals both on and off campus. At one corner of the library is the CyberNook, which may be used by students for online research and other requirements. Photocopying services are also available at the basement of the lobby. 
The De La Salle University Medical Center, located a few meters from the college, is where students will be immersed in the hospital setting during their third year of medicine and clerkship. Here, students will be working with teaching doctors, many of whom are alumni of the College of Medicine, as well as hone their skills in the patient interview process and physical examination. The SAL also has certified residency training programs in most medical disciplines. Listed here are the programs that the hospital currently offers. Since I'm now a faculty, uh, there is really, a, I think, a lot more uh, effort from the part of the faculty to engage the students. So it has become uh, more engaging. The interaction between the student and the faculty has uh, is, uh, has market, markedly uh, changed and improved okay, for the better. I think that's the biggest change, aside from, from the physical facilities that you see around. In keeping with the latest teaching strategies, the cell has transitioned from a passive lecture-based teaching style to the more proactive outcome-based education. So outcome-based education is an approach to the delivery of curriculum wherein the learning outcomes or the program outcomes are defined in such that it has to be demonstrated by a medical student at the end of the medicine program. Uh, the the uh, achievement, or we can say that we have achieved the outcome-based education if these learning outcomes define by the Commission on Higher Education has been achieved at the end of the four-year course and it will be translated to the workplace. The outcome-based education, I think, is beneficial to both the students and the faculty members. For the students, because they are allowed to ask questions and seek for the answers to these questions, the students have more time for critical thinking. The teachers now act as facilitator, which they can implement a lot of different teaching strategies to make learning better for the students. It also allows the teacher to do a lot of different strategies wherein they can implement the outcome-based education to their particular topics or subject matter. The main advantage of the curriculum in La Salle is it's holistic. So aside from the basic concepts and the application of these concepts in the clinics, it also focuses on the non-cognitive part or your personal development as a person, as a student, and as a physician. The college is also very proud of its graduates, some of whom have gone on to become top-notchers in the physician licensure exam. look at the number of graduates of La Salle Medicine who are now occupying the highest positions in the professional society, then it is very heartwarming to know that La Salle is actually producing very good graduates. We have so many of our graduates who are now in the upper echelons of their professional societies and in the management of uh, hospitals who have made their names in research. There are a lot of reasons and there are a lot of model LaSalle graduates that we can all be proud of and we can find a model for what career you probably want to embark on in the future. To balance out the rigors of medicine, the college has many student-organized clubs with multiple activities throughout the year that allow you to continue to pursue and discover passions and talents when taking a break from studying. Clubs like Med Dance, Sudding Hemig, and Med Sounds also allow its members to continue their passion for the arts. These organizations regularly practice and perform in local concerts and compete in yearly inter-school competitions with other medical schools. La Salle also hosts intramural and inter-school competitions including men's and women's basketball, football, volleyball, ultimate frisbee, and swimming. La Salle also participates in both local and international academic medical competitions, receiving international recognition, placing high in front of the many other medical schools in the Asian region. 
knowing that this is uh, De La Salle Sciences Institute, the, name, the brand name of De La Salle itself already holds a high standard for its students. And uh, actually, I am very much impressed with its global presence. You know, from time to time, we see visitors from other Asian countries, even from America. And also the opportunity it gives to the students to send them abroad also, which fortunately I have experienced and I am very much thankful. There are also a number of dormitories in and around campus. Dormbuilt, for example, is one residential building safely located on school grounds, a mere two to three minute walk from the College of Medicine building. There is an institutional canteen and also many different eating establishments here or nearby to satisfy your cravings. Just like any other medical school, we all come from different undergraduate degrees, different schools, but as you carry on your journey on this college, we develop that certain pride, the Lasagian pride. One, for being provided top facilities. Two, for being trained no other than by notable professionals of the medical field. And lastly, for being provided the training that will bear five-star future Lasagian position. As one of the largest medical schools in the country, being in the LSHSI is an enormous opportunity. What I am most impressed about my college uh, it's, is its ability to hone students through innovative education, quality patient care, up-to-date researches relevant for today's healthcare, and its capability to produce world-class health professionals. Being here in La Salle gives us the opportunity to become part of a system that would help us become better doctors. There are many plans in the works and the works continue. What is good before, tomorrow may no longer be possible. And if you look at our campus today, everything that we have is first class. We have the best library among all medical schools in Philippines, the e-library, and that's a fact. We have the simulation program, we have the health informatics, we have facilities to unwind, and that is what it is. And I will say, I'd like this place to be a dream come true for every student who would like to be a doctor.